Happy Tuesday, guys. I was reminded at church today, and yes, it's Sunday, so I'm filming my Tuesday video on Sunday, but there was such a great message at church today, and it just reminded me about something so important, and I wanted to share it with you. It's this. Sometimes the things that we walk through in life have nothing to do with us. All the entire service was about getting over ourselves. <laughs> like how to overcome me, you know, as the center of attention and how to overcome insecurities. And I thought it was so interesting because basically it was stating anytime you're feeling insecure, if you pay attention, the center of your attention is yourself. And one fast way to cure insecurity is to start thinking of others first before yourself. And so that's what got me to thinking about this theory that I have that sometimes God walks us through things that have nothing to do with us. And sometimes our God assignment in life has nothing to do with us. And I feel that way to a certain account. All that to say, with what I experienced in my walk and when I was writing my book and going through that process, it was a grueling process emotionally. I just remember feeling overwhelmed by, you know, having to relive all of those moments that I wrote about. And I would get so angry at God sometimes. You know, why are you wanting me to do this? I don't want to relive these, these ugly moments of my life. And he would just constantly remind me that it wasn't about me. And last week I discovered some, some really ugly reviews on Amazon on my book. And I knew that was going to happen. I mean, obviously, it's a very touchy, touchy subject, adultery. And there's lots of people out there that have been affected by adultery and are not healed. They haven't processed the emotion. They haven't fully grieved. It may be very brand new to them. And so I, I do understand. But it just hurts my heart that some people hold on to the bitterness and the resentment that comes along with someone cheating on you. And I've said this before, you know, unforgiveness is a huge healing blocker. Unforgiveness is a huge blessing blocker. You know, your unforgiveness is keeping you from healing. It's not hurting the other person. The other person has probably moved on. They're probably not even thinking about you. They're, they're, your unforgiveness isn't affecting them in any way. It's affecting you. And so I just had to remind you guys, unforgiveness is a blessing blocker. Unforgiveness is a healing blocker. And sometimes the things that God walks us through have nothing to do with us. Meaning, how can you turn the situation and say, how can I take what I've walked through in life and help other people? You know, and I certainly never ever ever intend to brag about what I did never I just want people to learn from me so they don't make the same choices it's about helping other women not make the stupid choices I made you know if you have any questions about anything I'm an open book and and I'll be very honest with you and I encourage that you know and I mentor women all the time and I'm able to help them and that's a beautiful thing and I know that I have my God assignment and I know there are going to have some people out there that don't like what I'm doing, and that's part of it. But it's okay because God knows my heart. God knows that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And, you know, it's just it's between me and Him. And any unforgiveness that you're holding against someone else is really between you and God. It's not between you and that person. It's between you and God because it comes between your relationship with Him. And it becomes between Him being able to bless you and give you your God assignment and use you for your purpose. So just some things to think about. Sometimes it's not about you. Get over you. <laughs> Sometimes it's about other people and who you can bless and who you can help with what you've walked through in life. So hope that helps someone out there. I'll see you next week. Bye.